What's going on, everyone? Uh, this is your Yankee Messiah here with you. So, I'm recording this on a Monday night. Uh, Tuesday morning, y'all getting this video. So, um, I want you to subscribe to this channel. Uh, please turn on all notifications when I do come out with a video. So, here we go. And normally, I don't talk about hockey on here. You know, I'm a football, baseball, soccer guy. I might get into some basketball but this is a big story here in New England, and I do follow this team as well. A off season with a lot of questions and answers has begun with the Boston Bruins. So they fired head coach Bruce Cassidy, and I'm gonna give you my thoughts on this. I truly feel that. Uh, Bruce Cassidy was a scapegoat in this situation here. To me, um, it was Don Sweeney and the entire front office that failed this organization. And that's why I say that Bruce Cassidy was the scapegoat here. To me, Cam Neely and Don should have been the first to go. But with that being said, it was pretty clear that Cassidy had lost the locker room. So you look at it right now. Six seasons. The guy has won 245 games. They were always in the postseason every year. They were in the Stanley Cup in 2019. Bruce Cassidy is going to uh, coach another team in no time. He's definitely going to be out there as a head coaching candidate. But he could do only so much with the players that he was dealt. I really feel that the locker room, they were sick of him by the end. However, however, you had personnel problems. And these personnel problems have plagued the Boston Bruins the last few years. Who do you blame that on? You don't blame that on Bruce Cassidy. You blame that on Cam Neely and Don Sweeney. I mean, come on. The lack of depth in the prospect pool. Who do you blame that on? You blame that on the front office, obviously. You don't blame that on your head coach. And that is why I believe that Cassidy was a scapegoat here. Instead, what's going to happen? Don Sweeney is going to get what he wants. And that's a new deal. And he's going to find his head coach. Now, the better situation in all of this would have been to clean house and not fire a head coach. I mean, it's a scary time if you're a Boston Bruins fan. Because what did I say in the beginning of this video? I said in the beginning of this video, there's a lot of questions that have to be answered going into the summer. All right. Brian Marshawn. Charlie McLevoy. Those guys are going to be out five to six months. Riley, he's going to be out three months. Patrice Bergeron, all right, that is the million-dollar question. What is Patrice Bergeron going to do? Is Patrice Bergeron going to retire? I don't see him going to another team. There's no way that Patrice Bergeron is going to go to another team. He bleeds Boston Bruin hockey. It's in his blood. And speaking of him, I wonder if he was aware about this decision happening today, um, today as I'm recording this video. Did he approve of this decision? If he did approve this decision, I can see him come back. If he didn't approve of this decision, 
then I could see something different. Maybe, like I said, retirement could be that answer. So who's going to be the next uh, coaching candidate for the Boston Bruins? Who's going to be the next guy? Um, we know that um, Trouts, uh, he's going to be managing the Winnipeg Jets. David Quinn? Could David Quinn be the guy that becomes the Boston Bruins head coach? Now, it's interesting I mentioned about David Quinn because David Quinn has New England ties. The guy was born in Cranston, Rhode Island. Cranston, Rhode Island is about a 10-minute drive from here, from where I am. Could he become the next head coach of the Boston Bruins? And I know he has his education at Boston University. We'll have to wait and see on that. But that's a different story for a different day. And I might talk about uh, who becomes the next head coach when that story breaks. But again, Bruce Cassidy didn't deserve to be fired. Where is this organization going to go now? Is this organization going to rebuild on the fly? Are they going to reload? You know, I don't like to use the word retool. Reload. You know, just like Nick Saban says about Alabama football. They don't like to rebuild. They like to reload. Or is this team going to completely rebuild? That is what we like to know as Boston Bruin fans. All I can say is buckle up, ladies and gentlemen, because this is going to be a long summer here in New England. I mean, right now, if there's the New England team out there that right now is the number one to me, it's the Boston Celtics, obviously, because of the run in the NBA Finals and what they've been doing in this postseason. So, that's um, my thoughts on this uh, news story. Uh, let me all know what you think in the comment section down below. It's your Yankee Messiah. I'm out. Peace.